Julie and I were working on a geocaching challenge where you find a cache hidden in every month since geocaching started. Back in September, we were looking for some really old caches, like 20 years old. One was in Round Valley Regional Preserve, and two were in the Morgan Territory Regional Preserve. We went looking for them on separate days because their trailheads are 30 minute drive from each other. And the second day in Morgan Territory, I saw a trail name that looked familiar, Miwok. Sure enough, although the trailheads are quite distant by car, the parks touch uh, each other with a ridge in between and the Miwok Trail it connects the two. I immediately started doing some research hoping to create a outing for the Boy Scouts. And what the heck is a Miwok? So it's not a Native American because it is. According to Wikipedia, Miwok is a four linguistically related Native American groups indigenous to Northern California. It's interesting, the Miwok simply means people in the Miwok language. The trifold map uh, for Round Valley says the valley was a meetup for the Miwok tribes to do trade. Valley. Another interesting bit I read about the Miwok is that it is thought the Sierra Miwok cultivated black oak orchards in the Yosemite Valley. Round Valley has only one campground and it's up in the oaks. So while I'm there, I thought I'd gather some. Back home I'll leach them of tannins, roast them, grind them into a flour. This way, during the camp out, we can have acorn pancakes. Miwok, on the other hand, would eat an acorn mush called Wee Wish. Uh, tomorrow, five miles. Oh, today. Uh, three. Three, so you should be there not too long. Not too long. Okay. Hey, so noon? Noon tomorrow. At, at Morgan, Morgan Territory Park. staging area. All right. Bye. Bye. From the trail to the campground is only three miles. The trail crosses open dry fields. In fact, right now the only water sources in the Reserve are non potable water found in the horse slash cattle troughs. There are many bridges meant to safely let you cross over what must be at times quite a bit of water. I'm here in mid to late October, about a week before the first storm of the season, and there is no sign of water. The whole area was used for agriculture not too long ago. Right away, you pass a vineyard that is. Uh, been allowed to go fallow. Up ahead I passed the remnants of the Murphy farm. The Murphy family farmed Round Valley for over a hundred years before donating it to the East Bay Regional Park District. I've got to assume one of the reasons they gave it up in 1988 was because of how dry it was. It must have been very difficult to successfully harvest a profitable co crop from land that is so dry. All the farming equipment are protected by law as historic and archaeological sites. Right around the farm, the preserve really opens up. It's this massive openness that drew me back to this place. Land in the Bay Area is some of the most expensive in the world. Most of the land set aside to the East Bay Regional Park District would be difficult to develop. All of the easily developed land has been gobbled up. A massive road could be rolled into this valley, Walmart, 7-Elevens, condos, gated communities could be all around me. When you're in the woods, it's nice to look around and not see the trappings of modern life. What's special about this place is that you rarely get to see a flat, undisturbed grassland. I mentioned how I first came here to geocache. Up on that hill is Boo's Cache. It was hidden next to a tree in April of 2001. One of the original content items was a copy of Microsoft Office 2000. The container has only been disturbed by people who went up there to trade trinkets and to sign the log. As I cut off the Miwok Trail to head up to the campsite, I was getting hungry. I hadn't had lunch yet, so I ate one of these shelf-stable Bridgeford sandwiches. On this trip, I'm trying to get rid of some old MRE-style food that's been in the pantry way too long. I'm going to camp up in those trees and hike over that ridge tomorrow. This is the only campsite in Round Valley Preserve. Normally, it's a group site, but during COVID-19 pandemic, East Bay, East Bay Regional Park District has decided to treat all group sites as family sites and limit occupancy to eight. 
Nearly every member of the Boy Scout troop that will be coming here in November can have their own picnic table. Since the preserve is closed, except for overnight visitors starting at 7 p.m., I have the surrounding nearly 2,100 acres to myself. All that for $5 and an $8 processing fee. Dinner was an MRE chicken fajitas packet on tortillas, alpine uh, fair pantry chocolate mudside for dessert. The dessert was way too big for one person, but I finished it. While I was cooking dinner, I was uh, serenaded by coyote yips. I know better than to be scared of coyotes. Well, I thought I was. I briefly thought I heard a low growl from just on the other side of the picnic table. Turns out my nearly empty fuel bottle was sputtering out. After my heart stopped pounding, I swapped bottles and finished cooking dinner. I don't know if the site has problems with raccoons or not, but to be safe, I hung my food. The site normally has non-portable water available. Although it was has to be treated, it's more convenient than bringing all your water. Recent fire took out the pump and some plumbing. So until the rangers get their permit approved to activate the replacement equipment, the spigot does not work. Speaking of the fire, there is a unique treasure chest looking geocache right inside the campsite, but as you can see, it was damaged by the fire. There's a really cool trade item in the cache. It's a troop neckerchief signed by all the scouts who visited on, on some camp out years ago. Next morning, I had a light breakfast of coffee, some MRE pears, and a trail bar. I headed off at 8 a.m. and got back to the Miwok Trail pretty quick and headed towards the preserve boundary. I brought a gallon of water with me and I'd used two quarts so far. When I passed a water trough, I filled my empty container as insurance. The solar powered pump probably only runs when the sun is out and the trough is low. It was probably just filling up water lost to evaporation overnight. Since the pump was running, it means I got to fill up with fresher water before it entered the trough. Of course, I treated the water and wouldn't be able to drink it for a half hour. I ended up not needing the extra water, but it makes me feel better knowing I have it. Although Morgan Territory bumps up against Round Valley, traveling between the two on the Miwok Trail requires briefly going through Los Vaqueros watershed. There's a fee to enter the watershed, but if you are just passing through on the Miwok, it's free. Just on the Los Vaqueros side of the fence is a solar-powered emergency phone. The second day is a little longer, just short of five miles. It's over 1,500 feet of elevation gain. Climbing up this grade is challenging, but the views of Los Vaqueros Reservoir are pretty spectacular. Funny story, I've been to the bottom of that reservoir. My father-in-law is a hydroelectric engineer and worked for Contra Costa Water District before he retired. He helped build the dam. He brought me out to the site before the dam was built, and we drove right through the valley that is now a lake. Near the top, you enter Morgan Territory Preserve. The Morgan Territory has a couple of backpacking camps also. I saw cattle tracks, turkey tracks, and coyote tracks. About halfway through Morgan Territory, the Miwok Trail ends, and you have to use the Blue Oak Trail to connect to the Bolvon Trail, which takes you to the Morgan Ter Territory staging area. Interestingly, you know how Miwok is the people who speak Miwok? Volvon are the actual Miwok tribe that lived in this area. Just as you come to the staging area fence, you pass Coyote Trail. Last time I was here, Julie and I saw a coyote near this trail. He nonchalantly followed us for a while. I think he was hoping for some, a handout. I got to the staging area early. Julie wouldn't be there until lunch time, and so I cooked up a favorite ramen with extra dried vegetables and a packet of chicken. Well, lunch cooks, I watched the birds frolic about and, I, and a particularly loud ground squirrel. This is a good intro to high adventure trek for a troop. I hope the scouts like it. I got a hustle to the car. Julie just arrived.